Devaya. This meeting is being recorded. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sutta Vaja. Adhatam Sukham Asina. Upasanam Brihete Vahaha. Deva Rishi Praha Vitra Sama. Translation, Sutta Goswami said, Thus the sage amongst the gods, Narada, comfortably seated and apparently smiling, addressed the rich. Shayati Sar Sar Praha Atma Manasa Evacha Evava Prabhuji, could you just scroll up? Thank you. A translation Addressing Vyasadeva, the son of Parashara, Narada inquired, Are you satisfied by identifying with the body or the mind as objects of self realization? Text three. Translation. Your inquiries were full and your studies were also well fulfilled. And there is no doubt that you have prepared a great and wonderful work, the Mahabharata, which is full of all kinds of Vedic sequences, elaborately explained. Text 4. Jikyanastam aditam cha brahmayat tat sanatanam tathapi satsoche atmanam akra tatha eva prabho Translation, you have fully delineated the subject of impersonal Brahman as well as the knowledge derived from, therefrom. Why should you be de de despondent in spite of all this, thinking that you are undone, my dear Prabhu? Text 5, Vyasa Uvacha. Asti evama sarvam idam tyakatam tathapi natma paritisuyete me Translation, Sri Vyasadeva said, all you have said about me is perfectly correct. Despite all this, I am not pacified. I therefore question you about the root cause of my dissatisfaction. For you are a man of unlimited knowledge due to your being the offspring of one, Brahma, who is self-born without mundane father and mother. Text 6. Translation, my Lord, everything that is mysterious is known to you because your worship, the because you worship the creator and destroyer of the material world and the maintainer of the spiritual world, the original personality of Godhead, who is transcendental to the three modes of material nature. Text 7. Tom Pariatanam Pariatana Arta Ivat Rilokim Antaskarovia Vayur Ivatma Sat Sata Paravere Brahman Brahmane Dharma to Vritya Sanastase me Leonam Alla Vikas Vikaswa. Translation, like the sun, your goodness can travel everywhere in the three worlds. And like the air, you can penetrate the internal region of everyone. As such, you are as good as the all-pervading. 
Therefore, find out the deficiency in me, despite. Sorry, Prabhu, can I, can you please scroll down to text seven, please? Thank you. Despite my being absorbed in transcendence under disciplinary regulation and vows. Text eight. Sri Narada Vacha. Bhavat Nuruta Praya Prayam Yeso Bhakpato Amaram Yenas Yenave Sao Nat uh Sete Manyata Darshanam Silam. Translation, Sri Narada said, you have not actually broadcast the sublime and spotless glories of the personality of Godhead. That philosophy which does not satisfy the transcendental senses of the Lord is considered worthless. Text 9. muni Translation, although great sage, you have very broadly described the four principles beginning with religious performances, you have not described the glories of the Supreme Personality, Vasudeva. Text 10. Nayadva chasa chitrapadam hariri yaso. Jagat Pavitram Pragna Vikar Chita Tadvaya Hampi Tirtham Yusatma Nasa Naya Yatra Ham Sani Ramante Usik Usikit Kasaya. Translation Those words which do not describe the glories of the Lord, who alone can sanctify the atmosphere of the whole universe, are considered by saintly persons to be like unto a place of pilgrimage for crows. Since the all-perfect persons are, are inhabitants of the transcendental abode, they do not derive any pleasure there. Text 11. Tadvak visargo janat gavipadva yasmin prakash lokam abhavate api namani anatasse yaso anputani Translation. On the other hand, that literature which is full of descriptions of the transcendental glories of the name, fame, forms, pastimes, etc. of the unlimited Supreme Lord is a different creation, full of transcendental words directed towards bringing about a revolution in the impious lives of this world's misdirected civilization. Such transcendental literatures, even though imperfectly composed, are heard, sung, and accepted by purified men who are thoroughly honest. Nishkarmayam api achyoti bhava vargitam na sobhate dhanman alam niranjanam Translation, knowledge of self-realization, even though free from all material affinity, does not look well if devoid of a conception of the infallible God. What then is the use of fruitive activities, which are naturally painful from the very beginning and transient by nature? If they are not utilized for the devotional service of the Lord. Text 13. Atho Mahabhaga Bhavam Amogidri Suti Shravan Shrava Satirato Dritta Vitaha Ukrama Se Akhila Bandha Mukhate Samhade No Samharata Vishetam. Translation, O Vyasadeva, your vision is completely perfect. Your good fame is spotless. You are firm in vow and situated in truthfulness. And thus you can think of the pastimes of the Lord in trance for the liberation of the people in general from all material bondage. Text 14. Tato 
प्रथा दृशा तत्ता रूपा नमा विहा न कर्चिता क्वापे चा दुष्ट दुष्टा माते लभते वता वत्ता हता न रिपा एवा पदम translation whatever you desire to describe that is separate in vision from the lord simply reacts with different forms names and results to agitate the mind as the wind agitates a boat which has no resting place text 15 jugapistam dharma krithe anusat anusataha sabhava rakta rakta se mahan vayatrambaha yat vak वक्यातो धर्म ट्रांसलेशन द पीपल इन जनरल आर नेचुरली इंक्लाइन टू एंजॉय एंड यू हैव एनकरेज देम इन दैट वे इन द नेम ऑफ रिलीजन दिस इज वेरीली कंडेम्ड एंड इज क्वाइट अनरीजनेबल बिकॉज दे आर गाइडेड अंडर योर इंस्ट्रक्शन दे विल एक्सेप्ट सच एक्टिविटीज इन द नेम ऑफ रिलीजन एंड विल हार्डली केयर फॉर प्रोहिबिशन ट्रांसलेशन द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इज अनलिमिटेड only a very expert personality retired from the activities of material happiness deserves to understand this knowledge of spiritual values therefore those who are not so well situated due to material attachment should be shown the ways of transcendental realization by your goodness through descriptions of the transcendental activities of the supreme lord text 17 ऑक्यूपेशन to uh, engage in the devotional service of the lord may sometimes fall down while in an immature state yet there is no danger of his being unsuccessful on the other hand a non devotee though fully engaged in occupational duties does not gain anything text 18 right asse vihe to prayatite pravyatita ko vidho न लभते यद ब्रह्म ब्रह्म ट्रांसलेशन पर्सन हू आर एक्चुअली इंटेलिजेंट एंड फिलोसफिकली इंक्लाइंड शुड एंडेवर ओनली फॉर दैट पर्पजफुल एंड विच इज नॉट obtainable even by wandering from the topmost planet brahmaloka down to the lowest planet patala as far as happiness derived from sense or enjoyment is concerned it can be obtained automatically in course of time just as in course of time we obtain miseries even though we do not desire them text 19 नवे जानो जातु कथान मुकुंदा सेवे अनाय अन्यवाद अंगा सम सम समरम समरम मुखादंगे पुनर विभा इच्छे ना रसो गृहो जना ट्रांसलेशन माय डियर व्यासा इवन दो अ डिवोटी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा समटाइम्स falls down somehow or other he certainly does not undergo material existence like others fruitive workers etc because a person who has once relished the taste of lotus feet of the lord can do nothing but remember that uh, that ecstasy again and again text 20 
इदम ही विश्व भगवान इवत्रो इवत्रो जतो जगत जगत स्थना निरोधा संभवा तदि सब स्वयं वेदा भवाम तथा पिते प्रसाद प्रदेशा मात्रम भवाता प्रसादितम ट्रांसलेशन the supreme lord personality of godhead is himself this cosmos and still he is aloof from it from him only has this cosmic manifestation emanated in him it rest and unto him it enters after annihilation your good self knows all about this i have given only a synopsis thank you and please forgive me for my mistakes hari krishna please forgive me also krishna actually i was supposed to do it hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna i thought it was beautiful recitation thank you much um prabhu ji and math ji um so um if i just introduce myself so my name is sula bagarwal i i'm a last minute um uh, it was a last minute request for me to come in to say a few words i'm not as learned as many of you on this call so i'll uh, please bless me that i can say a few words which um uh, which are useful um maybe we can start with the verse should i share my screen or you want to Share yes. the screen. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. I've made you the host now, so you can share your screen. Yes, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Okay. So we're doing one point five point three today. Is that right? Yes, Prabhuji. Please, can someone? Can... Okay. Um. Maybe we can um chant the shloka together. So jigya sitam susampannam. Do we repeat or not? I don't. Sorry, I don't know. You can read it, Prabhu Ji. Okay. We reside behind muted. Yeah. Okay. Jigya sitam susampannam apite mahad adbutam kritvan bharatam yastvam sarva sarvatha pari pramitam um, word by word. Jignasitam, fully inquired, susampannam, well versed, api in spite of, te your, mahat adbutam, great and wonderful, kritvan, prepared, Bharatam, the Mahabharat, yahatvam, what you have done, sarva artha, including all sequences, pari. Brahmitam elaborately explained. Translation by Shila Prabhupada. Your inquiries were full, and your studies were also well fulfilled. And there is no doubt that you have prepared a great and wonderful work, the Mahabharata, which is full of all kinds of Vedic sequences elaborately explained. The uh, purport by Shila Prabhupada. the despondency of vyasadev was certainly not due to his lack of sufficient knowledge because as a student he had fully inquired about the vedic literatures as a result of which the mahabharat is compiled with full explanation of the vedas maybe we can the invocation om agyana timirandhasya ज्ञानाजनाशलाखया 
ಶ್ರೀಯುತಾಪದಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂ ಸಾಗರ ಜಾತ ಸಹಗನ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಗನ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅರುಣಾಂದು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೇ ದೇವಿ ಗಣಮಾಮಿ ವಾಂಶಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೇವ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇತಿ ನಾಮಿಲೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚತಾರೀಷ ತಾರಿಣೆ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಕಥಾ ಶಿವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to say a few words i mean today is also um a very auspicious day uh, guru purnima also called as vyas purnima and on this occasion we are also reading the uh, uh, shloka from vyas dev which is um just a coincidence and such a beautiful occasion i think today is the birthday or the appearance day of shri vyasadev so maybe we can start uh, talking about vyasadev i'd like to keep this interactive hopefully uh, you can um uh, we can all discuss so i mean clearly vyasadev is the literary incarnation of the lord he is uh, um such an empowered so of empowered personality he was uh given us all the vedic literature that we have so so maybe I'll, I'll, maybe we keep, to keep it interactive who who was the father of vyasadev shila vyasadev anyone prashan muni please unmute yourselves prashan muni yeah prashan muni and who was the mother of shila vyasadev satyavati satyavati prabhu ji so um you, that's fine so um we all know i mean satyavati um mother satyavati was later married to um king shantanu so this before she got married to um um shantanu um or king shantanu um through parashar muni um um ved vyas um uh, vyas dev was um, was born so some some people may say well that doesn't sound right is he um of a great lineage or a, is he come of a uh, union outside marriage but essentially we all know like um from um i mean he is the literary incarnation of the lord um and uh, you know we know like the most beautiful lotus comes out in mind i mean he is um if you look at his lineage his grandfather was um vashishta muni you know vashishta muni no because he was um uh, the uh, he was there in in ramayana he was also there in um in mahabharat he was um you can say uh, the chief priest for lord ram he's he's be he's one of the main rishis his son parashar muni he was um uh he was absolutely um uh, one of the greatest rishis he was the author of vishnu puran who um we may know and also vyasadev's son uh sukhdev goswami we all know how I mean, we are uh, um reading shrimad bhagavatam the first time it was spoken was um uh, uh, shrimad bhagavatam was spoken by sukhdev goswami to maharaj parikshit so he was um both um 
his his lineage both upwards and downwards was um was just amazing also um i mean he he literally um was the one who wrote um the whole um, uh, vedic literature for us i mean he is uh, recognized and um, and kind of um, revered by all sampradayas right so of, of course the vaishnavas we gaudiya vaishnavas we is uh, is obviously um, um, revered by us but also advaitavadis also chevites like because he wrote all the all the vedas all the puranas all the upanishads upanishad. so he is he is one who is revered by everyone and um, um if you look at um his personality i mean um he is um uh, he is the one um, essentially he's also written all the puranas so while he was in mahabharat himself like as a character he was also um um i mean writing about mahabharat which is written so beautifully also like he how would we have known about his uh mother and father he's he was completely honest he wrote about that himself in one of the scriptures himself um so so moving on to um um uh, the fifth chapter of canto canto 1 um he is talking about maybe we read the translation very quickly your inquiries were full and your studies um but also well fulfilled and there is no doubt that you've prepared a great and wonderful work the mahabharat which is full of all kinds of vedic sequences elaborately explained so we know like um um this is a discussion between um vyas dev's guru maharaj who is narad muni and and shila vyas dev um and and it's it's so interesting like we ask dev despite being one of the greatest you know uh, writers and one most prolific writers uh, imagine if one of us had written uh, all the vedic literature and still he is introspecting um that he is not fully satisfied i mean it's it's just amazing if you reflect on 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 his situation right i mean most include most people including me will be so proud of what i have achieved and what i know and full of ourselves but he is is actually truly and genuinely introspecting um which is and and being humble and honest that i'm not fully satisfied and is revealing his heart um to his spiritual master which is the second thing which is amazing about him so um i mean to to accept that you're not fully satisfied and and to be able to consult your spiritual master or um or someone senior and say um it's it's not not ev- not everything is okay uh, please guide me is again a amazing position where um i mean what what we can learn from shila vyasadev both introspection and consulting the seniors in our um i mean guru sadhu shastra as we say to consult consult them as um as and when required and clearly he's um he's very honest and um, and, and 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 doing that i think uh, it's it's also interesting in this pillar i said like i mean you you have you've done such great and wonderful work including mahabharat so so what had he done i mean we we, we say and i think the shloka has already come um that uh, shrimad bhagavatam is like galitam phalam it's like the nectarian um ripened fruit of the vedic literature but if we if we go back to the vedic tree um essentially if you talk about the unripened food it is probably the vedanta sutra the vedanta sutra is kind of the conclusion of vedic literature and when when we draw out conclusion like i'm sure uh, you would have all heard many speakers including his holiness swam bhagwan keshav maharaj and god gopal prabhu and various others they tried to do 
the um, the acronyms and which are amazing I am, but, but to be able to concisely summarize and also capture the essence requires so much you know ability and um, um, to be able to not lose the essence of what is said and be able to summarize it as well so that's the vedanta sutra which is kind of the unripened fruit which then later on became ripened as he wrote shrimad bhagavatam and then there are so many other like flowers the samhitas the puranas the trunks the the four vedas themselves but shila vyasadev at the beginning of kali yuga realized that it will be so hard for all of us to be able to go through this one monolith big volume of knowledge and he took a lot of effort like ashila prabhupad to uh, to dedicate his life to um, help and try to make all the vedic literature easy for us and we know the ripen food is shrimad bhagavatam but also mahabharat which is mentioned in this verse was composed by um vyasadev and and we know like mahabharat is huge it's got um among other things one of the jewels within it which is bhagavad gita sitting sitting within it so one may argue well is that not as good as shrimad bhagavatam why even after writing bhagavad gita is not fully satisfied but i think how acharyas have explained that while bhagavad gita is there there serve the man parityaja and man man mat mat bhakta but like the whole glorification of the lord is not as extensive um in there and as, as well as all the conclusions of bhakti are not totally described in all the other vedic literatures which he had done which is why he was not fully satisfied um and it's um i mean we are we are so fortunate that um um we have we've kind of had shila prabhupad translate bhagavad gita which is kind of the first step to then then move on to um shrimad bhagavatam and chaitanya charitamrita in our devotional journey um so um so clearly um i mean then if we if we dig deep into what um what is satisfaction why why is it Uh, some things we do in life uh, if i like i think i've heard urmila urmila mata ji um say once that um a lot of things we do in our life um the um the tom tom she said or the gps of our life which which we are given from birth is um is asking us to go to one destination to the other but it it all lacks that sweetness the um Uh, the real satisfaction like uh, shila vyasadev is exp- is experiencing uh, we are told grow up do well in school get into a good university get a good job get married to a, a beautiful partner or a good partner have nice children get them to good colleges good partners again good grandchildren but while um there are lots of things we are progressing in life there is there's never that full satisfaction as as his holiness radhanath swami says or he quotes mother teresa all the time the problem in this world is not that much problem of hunger of stomach it's um it's the problem of hunger of love and the real love while there are all the relationships and there are beautiful relationships clearly shila prabhupada has equated the relationship between a mother and and child to be only next to the uh, relationship between um you know like a devotee and the lord but clearly the the relationship between a devotee and the lord and a constitutional position is just um so much more and that's what satisfies us as it is explained it is ever increasing and ever ever changing so that's why it's 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 so fulfilling and that's that's where um when later on it's explained and um, in in the chapter and and beyond around uh, how um you know it's it's explained that um, a place where 
um, you don't, uh, there's no conversation about the Lord or glorification of the Lord. It's compared to the pilgrimage of the crows. Whereas, um, you know, the, the, the pure satisfaction uh, or the, the completeness in the heart comes from uh, the devotional service and the exchange um, um, exchanges about the Lord, with the Lord. Um, as, as the Lord himself says, Naham Vasami Vaikunthe, Yoginam Hide Nacha, Mat Bhakta. Someone needs to help me. Um, yoginam. Naham um, Vasami Vaikunthe, Yoginam Hide Shu, Nacha Tat Tishtami. Uh, so clearly, um, uh, the Lord says, I don't live in Vaikuntha, I don't uh, even live in the uh, mind of the yogis, which means um, even the, the process of uh, another process other than the devotional service to the Lord um, is not complete and the, the real um, essence and the completion and satisfaction lies in in the true bhakti of the Lord. And when, when devotees are discussing about the sweet uh, qualities and pastimes of the Lord, that's where um, uh, it is It is really um, uh, where, where the full satisfaction of the heart lies. Um, I mean, uh, maybe, maybe I can pause there and if there are questions, comments from devotees, we can, we can discuss. Please forgive any mistakes I would have done. Sorry, I wasn't very greatly prepared, but I tried. No comments, no questions. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, my humble obeisances unto you. Uh, sorry, I, I joined late, but when I heard you, it was so good, it was so free flow. Really sorry, is, is my connection dropped or we've lost? It connection. was so wonderful. It was so flowing. It was very nice. The nectarian. Thank you, so Thank you Hare Krishna. Thank you for your encouragement, Mataji. Okay. Um, um, uh, are there any other... Uh, any Anyone wants to add? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, that was wonderful class. Very nice. Really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Prabhu, do you want to add anything? Please, if you want to say a few things. Hare Krishna Prabhu, you know, Hare Krishna. I think the, the shloka was explained very well because uh, the predicament of uh, Vyasadevan was very explained and how Narmali helped him to write this Bhagavatam, which is the essence of bhakti, basically. He told him that what is missing in your all literatures is that there is no mention of the brain towards the God. So you need to write on something where Krishna is the center of all activities. So that has been explained well by you and that is the essence of the entire Bhagavatam that Krishna is the center of all activities. And if we do tell all our activities to Krishna, I think perhaps in that is the real path and truth of Very nice. Thank you so much, everyone. One chakal patra bhyas chakrapa sindhu dev chakrapati tana. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Thank you.